top Shiv Sena leader Eknath Shinde is unreachable and reportedly in a Gujarat hotel with 12 MLAs. Eknath Shinde has been reportedly moved to a hotel in Surat with 12 party MLAs. Sources say he is reportedly upset and currently unreachable. But this development is bound to set off alarm bells in the Uddhav Thakre-led government because Mr. Shinde is a key Shiv Sena leader. Now, we're told he may address the media at noon. The legislators with Mr. Shinde, it has learned, are also upset and this may signal a major crisis for the ruling alliance of Shiv Sena, the Congress and the NCP. Now, Mr. Shinde is a prominent Sena leader in Thane and has played a key role in strengthening the organization in the region. Congress is a highlight in Maharashtra. Congress is a Sankuchit power. It is a highlight in Maharashtra. 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 It is a Saurabh Gupta on the phone line with us to give us the latest information. Saurabh, we were speaking earlier and you were mentioning that resort politics have actually become the norm when I had said that it's making a solid comeback. What details can you share with us at the moment? It seems that at least uh, a group of uh, a significant number of MLAs uh, at this point, uh, in terms of numbers, seem to be with Ignat Shinde and they seem to be in Surat. Uh, it's relevant because of the fact that Surat is in Gujarat, a BJP ruled state, a BJP bastion, and only about five hours away from Mumbai, if you drive uh, from Mumbai to Surat. And the other thing, of course, is that Eknath Shinde is someone who uh, has been seen as someone who could possibly, you know, uh, defect in the last few uh, months. And that is uh, given the fact that, you know, uh, yesterday there was an anecdotal sort of uh, appearance of that, uh, though it wasn't taken very seriously because it was just seen as him walking a few steps behind all the other Sena MLAs. But now it seems that he, along with several MLAs, are in Surat and is expected to speak at around uh, 12 in the afternoon. But the fact really is that what does this do to the numbers? Uh, now, the Mahavikas Agari, when it passed the last floor test, which was in 20, uh, uh, you know, 19, at that time, you know, it uh, had the support of independence plus the support of MLAs from the Shiv Sena. MLAs from the NCP and MLAs from the Congress, and that together took it way past the majority mark. Now you have a situation where we don't know where the uh, independents are. The independents uh, between the Rajya Sabha and the uh, Vidhan Parishad elections also have changed the way they voted. So uh, that is one concern. The second is now you have a group of Sena MLAs loyal to Eknath Shinde. Uh, who's a strong man from Thane, which is a very strong base for Shiv Sena, uh, is also uh, seemingly unhappy and uh, with, you know, uh, a group of MLAs in, a, uh, in Surat. And Surat is a BJP ruled state. Uh, so obviously, the interpretation of that is that this is some sort of arrangement with the BJP. Now, what does that leave the Sena with? At this point, if you speak to NCP or if you speak to Sena, they say they still have the numbers. And that, you know, uh, of course, Mr. Shinde's, uh, you know, uh, steps are unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it could be uh, resolved. But whether it can be resolved or not is a very uh, pertinent question, given that uh, this is something that uh, many were talking about even before the MLC elections. It was very important for the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, the Maha Vikas Agadi, to win the MLC election, to get all its six candidates elected, because... Uh, the BJP required a huge number of defectors to get Prasad Lad, who eventually won, uh, elected. 
it seems the BJP has managed to get that number of defectors. Some from the Sena, some from the Congress is what our understanding is at this point once we, when we look at the numbers uh, the candidates have got. So therein lies the main question. Now, uh, you know, on the 56th birthday of the Shiv Sena on Sunday, Chief Minister Uttar Thakre had made a reference to defectors and said that we know what happened. And he said, uh, you know, uh, and uh, we don't want, uh, you know, uh, uh, traitors in our party. Uh, Ikna Chinde was on the street. So, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of uh, things happening behind the scenes. Uh, Ikna Chinde is seen as a strong man in the Sena. Uh, you know, uh, again, someone who has immense clout in, uh, uh, in the Thane, Bivendi region. In fact, he uh, also, uh, his son is an MP, Shikan Chinde. Uh, 